Let me just say, I have, I have never heard black people whine so much about such a wide variety of things. It's just incredible. I heard a black kid whine about learning math or some school subject back in Las Vegas. He was just, <laughs> I don't want to learn. He was just whining, 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 whining for so long. It was incredible. It was a length. It was a record time. Most rec record time I've ever heard a, a kid whine about not wanting to be tutored. And then I, I see in the library this, this black youth not wanting a older black man to sit at his table. And he's like, there's all, all, other, all these other tables you could have sat at, but you sat at mine. Whining, whining. And then last night, that lady who was just beeping the heck out of her horn, she parked in a parking lot like this, in the Walmart parking lot, two spaces down from me, and just starts honking and honking and honking for like five minutes. I've never heard such a thing. They carry on with these tantrums. And you hear about it in the news all the time. I get to see it firsthand in these parts. I, that's the thing, I, I'm not sticking around here. I am leaving right now. You see, I'm currently taking off. I don't want to deal with this. I'm hoping... North 51st Avenue. Oh yeah, I should roll down some windows. I'm hoping the next library over isn't going to be as bad, but it's only five miles. It's very concerning. I'm leaving the Maryvale Park Palo Verde Library, which actually has a nice or a neat looking community center right next to it. But I am highly suspicious. Miles. Turn right on West Thomas Road. 1.3 miles. Just, just uh, in the nature of these people, it's just incredible. That that dude is that dude's pushing a baby cart, and there's no baby in it. But I mean, white people do that too. So that's that's no big deal. But it's just amazing that the type of people that can do that. I, I probably would would break down to that type of level myself because that is the most common type of cart that's acceptable by the city. They don't want you pushing shopping carts, so what's the next best thing? A baby cart. Okay, this is where those those Christian Bible thumpers were hanging out. This, the Wells Fargo Quarter, the Indian School Road, which Indian School Road extends all the way to Scottsdale. And all the way over here, I'm on the west side of the city, moving wester. <clears throat> It was like five, I think, five Bible bangers. The guy with the bullhorn was a black guy, but the, the white guy approached me. I was talking about it before I recorded him a little bit. That would be in a different video. But the, the, inter, the types of interactions that go on with uh, this, this, uh, this different race, um, it's not what I agree with. I mean, it's just, it's so, it's, it's the, the sense of, like, greed or something, like, this, you know, I put up, I put up enough of a tantrum, I, I cause enough of a, a scene, and I should get my way, and they're good at that, they're really, they're louder, they put more effort into it. That's why they're good singers and, and sports, sports people. It takes a lot of physicality. I, I maintain, I believe that they, they probably were whipping each other and stealing cotton. That they were probably whipping and stealing cotton from each other. Baseball parking. It's, it's just really bad around this area. I'm only going 35, so... Oh man, the road's rough. That lady was digging in the trash. Oh, that looked like a bump. Um, I don't want to hit it too hard. Oh, okay. Oh, 
it, okay, 40 is not a good speed for me. No, nope. I can't be hitting those bumps. Okay, right on Thomas. It might be this light up here. Or not. Uh, Earl. The light seems a little too far. Maybe it's maybe it's just right. It's still looking like quite a bit of a ghetto around here. Okay, yes. It is this. Mmm, liquor store at the corner. That's nice. Smoke shop. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mmm. Going, going, going. Yeah, it's... It's not going to be much better. Turn left on North 75th Avenue. And three miles. Wow. I got three miles, though. It is... It's more... You're seeing more of the outer edge at this next library. You'll see more open range, which is much better. <sighs> the outskirts is where where people will mellow, get a little bit more mellow. They won't they won't have their criminal networks at least. I might be entering another city too. A different Walmart not far. Library's up until 7 today. School zone. Some acceptable graffiti, I guess. There's a thug. Tantrums are just incredible. But at least that young guy, I mean, he's he just he just complained a little bit, walked away. That's how he wanted to deal with it. He didn't want to be near that old guy. I, I don't know what how that old guy is offensive. He didn't seem offensive to me. He seemed pretty laid back. He didn't seem to stink. He seemed like he might have been homeless, but that's that's no big deal. If he could take care of himself enough, because he had a uh, a sizable bag with him, seemed to be what his his belongings. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking a little bit better. Somehow it's just, it's looking a little bit better out here for some reason. I don't know how to explain it. Not, not too much. It's 1.3 miles. I don't know if I, I don't know how to accurately describe. It feels like it's a little bit more on the outskirts. It might be more relaxed. Two ninety nine for gas, or two thirty nine? Because two thirty nine is unbelievable. Food City. This is Sixty Seventh Avenue. I'm still on Thomas. I gotta take a left and a mile, and there's three lanes, so I gotta I gotta scooch over three, two lanes. Unless if it narrows down, strong sign of how busy it is. Though they gotta maintain three lanes way out here. Heading west, but only west in the city. I'll hit. I want to hit those outskirt libraries. Just wrap around. And then, then head east in a way. 
check out Char, what is it, Charlemagne or Charlene, whatever that name is, Champagne, oh my god, what's, not, not confident I could find any, I'm not sure what the Walmart situation is for overnight, I'm hoping it's not too bad. I did, I did not like, I mean, I, I got away with it at the Walmart last night, but I didn't like it. I was pretty much, I spent the night sitting stunned, thinking about losing my bicycle, and how I really need to get another one. I spent, I spent a couple hours just sitting in a state of being stunned. Depressed, depression? I, I did eat more than I should have. It was a stunned depression. Okay, yeah, I want to get into that lane. Yeah, I hear ya. Whoa, hey, are you? Okay, and I got .6 miles. Oh! I just sold off. Okay, so it's uh, 75th. I take a left. And it looks like it's the lights. It's 74th. Okay, not the 74th, so... Turn past at the traffic light. What, here? You said 75th. So we got three lanes, and you still need to make a separate lane for making a left. So it gets that busy. Oh, jeez. Oh, Liberty Mutual. How nice. <laughs> A black, a big fat black Liberty Mutual. Let's see if I can record that. Where is he? I don't see him. Am I even? Am I zoomed in? Oh, it's because he's behind. I see. Okay. I'm just gonna have to shut this off.